Hello students, in today's video, we will discuss about solution of 1D heat or diffusion equation. In my previous video, I discussed about the physical applications of partial differential equation. In this video, I am going to talk about the first one that is the heat equation or diffusion equation. What we will do here is, we will see how we have to solve the heat equation or differential equation. I will tell you how to solve it. You have to remember the solutions. For doing questions, you need to remember all the solutions that we get here. Before starting, I am also pre-assuming that you know the method of separation of variables. If you don't know, you can check out the previous links of my videos where I have told you how method of separation of variables work. In this video also, I will discuss, I will do. So, just have patience and keep watching. So, I am going to start with my equation. So, the equation of heat or diffusion equation is given as del z by del t is equal to c square del square z del x square where z is my temperature at time t. So, this t is not temperature. This t is time. This z is temperature and this x this x is my distance from one end to another so this is your basically one dimension heat equation whenever the question comes you have to see like because here the order is one, so it is one dimensional. Now, what I'll do is, I'll solve it. You have to first, the first step is you have to remember this, then you have to stop, solve it, start solving it. If a solution comes in question, question, you have to solve it. If solution is not asked, some initial conditions are given, then you have to use those solutions which I'll solve. So now I'll start with my method of separation of variables my method of separation of variables says that in this equation to solve this partial differential equation i have you can see i have z i have t i have x z is my main function so z will be written as a multiplication of t and x Let's say in this equation to solve this, I just need to find this t and x according to the method of separation of variables. So first what I'll do is I need to find del z by del t because I have to rewrite this equation one in uh, respect to this equation, right? So let's start if I do del z. This will be I hope you are familiar with this partial this is basic partial if I have to get so let's say just this T and if I just do a square here T will remain intact here and this will become like this okay so this is nothing but this is this is right i can use them in my first and rewrite the equation so if i rewrite the equation see students this is taking time because i have told you this step you could have skipped and just came to the final step so now using them my equation becomes is equal to c square double dash now when i told you the method of separation of variables i told that what you have to do is all the like variables you have to keep one side so this t dash by t x double dash by x and let's say c square is 
here or I can send this C square let's say I'm sending it here only right so this is my equation now you see I'm just rewriting this whole thing C square t dash t is equal to k let's say now what we'll do is we will solve each and get two solutions and then we'll solve those solutions now let's say we are solving first for x is equal to k now let's say I am solving for this only for x only so x dash double dash by x is equal to k I can rewrite it as x double dash equal to kx this is nothing but d square minus k if I just take it here x is equal to 0 I hope you understand all this because double derivative I can write it as d square if you are following my previous videos you know this now again solving this let's say 1 by c square t dash by t is equal to k now t dash is nothing but it's one let's just kc square dt by dt 1 by t now this dt will go here because I told you that you have to keep same variables one side so and now in this I can solve it by integrating let's say I integrated these whole so this will be log t k c square t to get t because the base is e I can remove it again e sorry it's it will be t is equal to e raised to the power k c square t so this is how I get my solution these all I have practiced like I, I did make four or five videos in which I made you understand all these because this is method of separation of variables I have explained every single detail and step so this is why the video has got a bit long than expected so first is this the solution and second the solution comes out to be this let's just see we have to assume a constant also because if I say C here like after integration some log C would have come and this would have also got multiplied with here so this you can assume in the total end of the question also or you can just take it side by side so now these two I have to solve this much I have done I have solved after this I have to solve these two take cases like I did in the previous question of method of separation of variables so students like I told you whenever there is order to you will get something like this d square or d dash square and you will get a variable k now you have to assume cases case 1 case 2 case 3 three cases will be there which will be like k is equal to z is greater than 0 this k might be greater than 0 this k might be less than 0 or this k might be equal to 0 and for all these cases you have to solve so the solution three solution will come out you have to learn them and this is how it works and in the questions when you will be given initial conditions you will have to just check in which case the condition fits and you will get a solution so students these three cases I will be discussing in my next video do check out the next part in which I have discussed the cases and the solutions so you could learn the solutions and understand how they come out and please do not forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching